Welcome to battle number two of week three. Sorry, battle number three of week three. This battle is pitting King Fuse, which is Elemental Dragons, versus Tiller. Downtown Darmanitan, we have them as Poke Fuse, 1, 2, 3, and 4th Act on Pokemon Showdown, respectively. As a reminder, the Mega Pokemon available in this fight are Mega Beedrill and Mega Sharpedo. We'll be seeing both today. And then the Z Crystal Pokemon are Clefable and Salazzle with any Z move and attacking Z moves versus uh, Golisopod and Raichu with any Z move and attacking Z moves. We'll be seeing all of them today, perhaps a Z move. Uh, the only one we won't be seeing is Golisopod. I am Noel from Mystical Chain, and we will be commentating this match. As for some initial thoughts, uh, we have some strong ice coming from uh, King Fuse's side, which is threatening to most of the Pokemon on Tiller's team. Uh, so Tiller's team is really going to have to be careful. I think Bisharp is going to be a big Pokemon in this game on Tiller's team. By Sharp in particular, being able to take down pretty much every single Pokemon there, except Salazzle. Salazzle is going to pose a problem for By Sharp. However, it is pretty frail, so a plus two Sucker Punch, I think, will be able to take it out. So By Sharp is going to be the one to watch uh, for King Fuse. And on King Fuse's side, I think the one to watch... Uh, it, all the Pokemon have their own uses. I don't think there's one Pokemon that particularly is very threatening to Tiller. Uh, I could, I, I'd probably say that Sandslash Alola can do some big damage if it's left unchecked, as well as uh, Beedrill with its pivoting. But we'll see how this will go. I think it's going to be a very offensive battle, mostly offensive Pokemon on Tiller's side, aside from Gliscor. And some pretty offensive Pokemon on King Fuse's side as well, some bulkier ones. But overall, it's going to be pretty offensive. So let's see how this goes and let's bring it on. I think we'll probably see Mega Beedrill and Tapakogo come out first as pivots. That's my prediction. Right now, we're listening to the Reggie Trio battle. Oh, and instead it's Salazzle and Zygarde 10% Sigurd the Zygarde. Salazzle is not really comfortable in this situation. Both of its stab moves not able to hit hard. And out comes Clefable, getting hit by that thousand arrows, doing a massive 55%. However, Clefable can strike back with a Moonblast, so Sigurd is probably going to have to switch out here. Indeed he does, Bisharp comes out, and a Z move is coming out from Clefable. Twinkle Tackle dealing 90% big damage on Bisharp. That is good for King Fuse, he is definitely going to want Bisharp to go down. Bisharp going for the Iron Head, but Clefable protects and scouts. Clefable is able to switch right back over to Salazzle, who takes an Iron Head. 45% lost, but Bisharp goes down, and the first Pokemon to go down is Bisharp. Probably the strongest Pokemon on Tiller's team against King Fuse. Pretty intense there. And Salazzle is back, and Sigurd is out as well. We saw Thousand Arrows do quite the bit of damage to Clefable. Clefable can't switch in this time because it won't be able to live two of those Thousand Arrows. King Fuse is going to have to think about what he wants to do in this scenario. Salazzle might be... It might be good to just let Salazzle go because in terms of matchups, it's not really too decent in in regards to the other Pokemon and their matchups. And here comes Clefable taking a thousand arrows, but not living to tell the tale if it takes one more. And indeed, thousand arrows does take Clefable down, Clefable being the sacrifice. Who will come out to face Sigurd? Sandslash Alola. 
who will take massive damage from that thousand arrows, so Sandslash has to be very careful here. Does it have Ice Shard? Does Sandslash Alola even get Ice Shard? Ooh, and it looks like it was an illusion for Zorark, who goes down to a thousand arrows as well. This thousand arrows dealing some pretty massive damage here. It is most likely Choiced, so Kyurem probably won't go down to it and can hit back hard. Because Kyurem's Dragon and Ice, right? Yeah. It's not Electric type, so... Won't go down to the Thousand Arrows, I think. Temporary pause here as King Fuse has left. Probably a disconnection due to Wi Fi or something like that. Will we see a strong ice move come out? The thing that uh, Kirim is going to have to be careful of is definitely Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko could come in on a dragon type move with relative ease. And we do see an ice move, Ice Beam, dealing 50% to Blackbird the Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko might go for a Dazzling Gleam, but it won't... Well, depending on the damage roll, it might be able to live an Ice Beam. We'll see. Interesting that we have a special move coming out of Kyurem here. Looks like there's a little bit of contemplation of what's going to happen next. Actually, King Fuse is disconnected still, I believe. Reporting that he's having trouble joining. Alright, he is back. Pretty tense here between the two Pokemon, both being able to take each other down. If it's a Choice Specs Tapu Koko, maybe Dazzling Gleam will be enough. And Dazzling Gleam hits Sandslash Alola. It is a Life Orb Tapu Koko dealing some damage there, so I think the Ice Beam will definitely take Tapu Koko down from uh, Kyurem. And Thunderbolt hits, dealing a little bit more damage to that Tapu Koko. Very fast Tapu Koko. And Beedrill comes out. Out comes Gliscor. Beedrill going for the U-turn. Smart move there, being able to pivot out back to Kirim Black to get an Ice Beam in. Oh, and Bat Demon, the Gliscor, has a Toxic Orb attached, which will allow it to heal. And an Ice Beam takes down Gliscor. I'm predicting we might see Tapu Koko come out again.
Indeed, Tapu Koko is back. Using a Thunderbolt, paralyzing Kyurem, that is going to be not so good for Kyurem. But Nice Beam ultimately takes it down. And out comes Raichu Alola, the Rat Demon. If Raichu Alola can take down Kyurem before Electric Terrain goes away, this could be game. He has four turns to do it. And a Focus Blast is going to miss Ice Beam hitting Raichu Alola but dealing only 45%. Wondering if Kyurem is uh, holding a choice item. And Stoked Spark Surfer is going to deal big damage. Ice Beam hitting pretty hard, but still allowing Raichu to live to 3%. One more turn will allow Raichu to take down Kyurem. And indeed, Raichu does take down Kyurem. I'm assuming we'll see Salazzle. There's one more turn of Electric Terrain up where Raichu will be faster than both of King Fuse's Pokemon. And indeed, we do see Salazzle come out. Salazzle gets hit by a Psychic and is taken down. In comes Beedrill. Beedrill, I think, will have the ability to take down at least Raichu. And indeed it does. Raichu goes down. In comes Zygarde. Extreme Speed hit, does a, doing big damage. A Drill Run is going to hit, doing about 50%. And there goes the extreme speed, causing Beedrill to faint. And that is game with a final score of 2-0 for Downtown Darmanitan Tiller's team. Good fight from both sides. I'm wondering if uh, if Beedrill's U-turn would have been able to take it down instead of Drill Run. Uh, if it did, maybe it could have gone to take down... Well, Sharpedo would have had the speed boost. But still, very close match between the both of them. Uh, both... Really going on the offensive. That was a pretty short match. And some sacrifices definitely had to be made for both sides where they realized this Pokemon needs to die so I could send in the next Pokemon safely and go for some more offensive pressure. Uh, but overall, pretty good. So that was Battle 3 with a victory for Downtown Darmanitan of 2-0 over Kingfuse. Total score of 3-0 in the league so far with Kingfuse having 2-1. Tune in next time for battles 4, 5, 6, and 7 of week 3, and I'll see you then.